Grove, it is James. And I wanted to send you a special invite for anyone who's thinking about signing up for the School of Theology class but hasn't yet. I'd love for you to do that right away. We're looking at having just an awesome group together so that we can spend some time talking about what it looks like to reach people in the West. Our textbook for this first ever Grove School of Theology class is a book by a retired pastor from New York City named Tim Keller. He is one of my favorite follows on Twitter, just wildly smart, uh, able to talk and listen in really meaningful ways uh, that make sense and are open hearted and loving while still holding on to the things that make uh, Christians Christians, holding on to biblical and spiritual truth. And so we're going to have these conversations. This book is only 58 pages long. It's an easy read. If you're halfway through summer year and you're like, what happens when I get to the end of summer and I haven't read a book all summer? Well, now you can read this book. It's free. If you sign up, we'll send you the link so that you can download it or listen to it online if you want to. The reason that we need to do this right now is that we are facing an unprecedented time as a church, uh, not just the Grove Church, but as the church in the Western world. Uh, we really divide up the history of the church into three phases. The first one lasted about 300 years, uh, where it was Christianity was in this very uh, inhospitable environment, a hostile environment even. And then there was this switch uh, and even even non-Christian secular sociologists would point at this. There's a switch just after the year 300 until right around 9-11, uh, right around the year 2000 even, uh, right around those moments, uh, this 1700-year experience of the church, of what people call Christendom. In the Western world, Christianity was in charge. And now we've shifted, and most people are seeing that. Some churches are saying, no, we aren't shifting, we aren't shifting, and they're still trying to reach people that lived in 1953. And we want to reach our neighbors who live today, and they live in a post-COVID world that's fractured, uh, that's divided, where everyone's an expert and no one knows what they're talking about. And how does the gospel of Jesus speak into our world today. So this isn't like an evangelism class where you're going to learn how to, uh, you know, threaten someone. Like if you were to die today, where would you go? We're not, that's, that's a threatening question. I get nervous when people ask me that. Uh, but uh, when that's, that's how I was trained to do evangelism. And I don't think it's a conversation starter, uh, but we're going to talk about what it means to share the gospel with people in our world today with your neighbors and with my neighbors. So what does it mean to disciple people in a digital world where people are spending a half an hour uh, once a month or twice a month listening to a pastor uh, in a local church, but then what happens with all the content the rest of the week and where is that coming from and how does that shape us? We're going to have these conversations. It won't just be like James lecturing. The lecture is in the book itself. You can read it. It's a no fluff book. We're reading like uh, about 20 pages a week, sometimes about 10, sometimes about 20. Uh, that'll all be sent out to you. We just want to ask you to sign up. Uh, we just want to ask you to be a part of this pivotal moment in focusing the efforts of the church and the Grove Church's call to be on the leading edge of what it means to reach people with the love and the hope of Jesus in our current world and in our cities, uh, both in, in Albany and surrounding cities. Uh, because that's how our community is growing. So go ahead, sign up. There'll be a link attached to this email right now, and we'll get you on the list. It starts this Sunday night, and I can't wait to see you there.